siyanamukela ohlelwe lwe ithala etu platform eni letulelo ngezi logoto ezi nge ithala kanyine go digital sa foundation tamelani is fundo ze mathematics the accounting isi zulu uli mlose kaya isi ngisi fal the physical science the geography as of twepeche i computer applications technology kanyina maklase lena wellness oku nguguzi lolonga ngogu mkondo kanyino mzimba lezi zifundo ze tulwa tsugu zonke kusuge la ngumsombluko kia nguli slanu kutala ngehora siyana mugela ohlelwe nilwe ithala etu platform eni letule lwa ngezi logoto ezi nge ithala kanyine go digital sa foundation tamelani izi fundo ze mathematics the accounting isi zulu uli mlose kaya isi ngisi fal the physical science the geography as of twepeche i computer applications technology kanyina maklase lena wellness oku nguguzi lolonga ngogu mkondo kanyino mzimba lezi zifundo ze tulwa tsugu zonke kusuge la ngumsombluko kia nguli slanu kutala ngehora lesine kia gwele slanu ufoku ya gufaif dambama na ngumkibelo kusuge la likamenga ihora lesi ya kalombili half past eight kuze kamanga ihora lo kala emin half past one Zitamele ni futi lezi zifundo emsaka zweni uko zi FM njalo ngulwe sine kusuge lango 9 vya kutene psuku. Ningangena eka sinle tuliga Facebook eliti Go Digital SA underscore movement no magui YouTube uti Go Digital SA Foundation. Sietemba nizoli chablela lulushelo olisho segu nifundisa futi lulegelele kuloko eni kufunda eskule nzinu. Lutoko zile nigelo lulushelo Nime menabo bonka banye bafundi beba ngale shumi na mbili o grade 12 uguze nabo bazuze gulo futi nonke nkicheleke upumelela kwizi vivinyo zenu zo pela gonyaka. Angonan Grade 12, Kamala Mwumuzi, Wa Mtembo, Ngezo Wenzi Sa E Geograph, Na Mtlanji, Gitu Tsa Ene Geography, So Na Mtlanji, Suzo Peganje, E Settlement, E Uzi, What Do You Mean About Settlements, Types Of Settlements, E Uzi, Pege Na Mafanshins, The Sizes, The Complexity, And Everything Has To Do With In E Settlement, So As Pege E Concepts, Concept of segment, which is transmission message segment. A segment, yes, it is the place where people live, where people live. Okay, grade 12, Ama segments can vary. Ama segments manning. Some of the segments, they may be big. Some of them may be small. Some of them may be permanent. Some of them may be temporal. Now, if we ask about the great twelve in the settlement, in the the big settlement, in the Gabana, in the Gabana, in the Gabana, in the Gabana, in Johannesburg, in Johannesburg City, in the Gabana, or even in Cape Town. So now, the smallest segments, the smallest segments, the smallest segments, the smallest the smallest segments, 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 the segments, the Amanyama settlements, yes, they may be temporary. Kanjane. Singa confuse the land. 
ama temporal settlements is now confused most of the time as nafagi ama 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 shakes mama ini imjondo as far as abe ama 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 tens ama ten now as we get away in price wealth and some as we get away in some government and some people evacuation system for emergency if it's a baby rescue shaban to some be a sabbatting them a flat or anything or even about refugees so in jade being about the cell and jama i'm a dead in jama and in a pan just to accommodate them always cash on so that is i'm a type of pharmacy clemency is in our name remember what we said they may be big they may be small some may be permanent and others may be temporary so many as big a manch i'm a types Types of settlements. Types of settlements. Map loma types of settlements. Okay. Number one, we have the rural settlements. Rural settlements. Number two, we have the urban. Settlements. Who made a great wealth? No, no, my kind of who was the who has the difference between the two. Who made a was the who would say, What do we have? Lang a pants, warm up rural settlements, and then also, what do we have under any ama urban settlements? Now, as Tale and Gilland, the type of settlement of color which is the urban settlement. It's called the Woody. It's where we we settlement the egg and Now, let us look at sorry so a rural settlement. Let us look at a rural settlement. This is where we see in any rural settlements. Now, the rural settlements see see land to see paying gang mogama functions. I see paying jenga ni mogama functions. Which okay? How many functions are performed in each? No manje kulama kule type of each settlement which is a rural. So they pay and according to AMA functions, it's manga. Usually, Puma rural settlements, most people depend on farming. They depend on fishing. They even depend on forestry or, or even, um, I'm always fishing, forestry, um, yeah, and all, the, all, the, all those uh, primary activities. Now, again, if you look at those AMA functions, Lana, we usually term it a unit. Functional. It's unifunctional. Ama rural settlements, most of the time, are unifunctional. Then again, what do you mean about some are unifunctional? Tell us, it's never bound they only do only one type of any activity, which is called a primary activity. So they are doing any ama primary activities. You might be my primary activities. Yes, I saw my name, Joba Dingwashwin. So I found with my bracket. The fishing, the forestry, the farming, Nanzang is chili, Talin, the mining. So I bound in these places, but dependele, who lazes into my primary activities to actually make a living. So we, we call it a rural settlement, a unifunctional type of a settlement. Why? It's because they only depend on the primary activities. Now, as big again, I'm a types, no man just big sites and situation whenever we're choosing in a, in the place, the perfect place to actually build our farm. That is very important, Christ. Well, who has in here, would say, what do you need to say, who has in here? Is settlement yako. Okay, so when I example in the England, if you wanna build your house, if you are thinking of building any house, yako. So how we when the so how we open in the house. So then the house also be we pega will be called in the sides. So enjoy. So how in mind? What's in with this in mind? What's in the? Because I open in the sides. But get us very we choose the sites. None of my AP, none of my AP forty sites without having to check in our surroundings. Now, I say defining a magic grace wealth sites before this is challenge anything. The site is a is a physical place where 
you build a settlement, a settlement. So this is a physical place that you choose. You know, it's a physical space that you use to build a site here. So Pianja, I must hear, I would say, okay, I must around the site here. All right, you know, so Pianja, things like, if you want to jump in, jump away, so on, okay, you can to around, you know, jump in, oh, oh, my, oh, want to jump away farming, so Pia is in danger, okay, I'm on the corner, you know, I'm going to go to corner, you know, you don't get to corner, you know, now, I see there is yeah, a situation. Let's just look at the situation, which is the surrounding environment. Let's just look at the situation. The situation here, you know, let's just look at the situation around the size that you have chosen. So, the situation, again, this is the relationship. It's a relationship between... The sites they we choose the lapan ekalin and what's grade 12 and the surrounding surrounding environment. So the environment here is by in here with grade 12. The environment can be anything. It can be anything. Some of us are in a land, in a school, and a peace. Unga hambio zakela e. Some of us are in a in a home, shanga, in a home, palito, in a home, is vil, a boy land. So, in a home, if you are in peace, unga zenza la zonge lezend. But now, let us look at it here. Man, jengani, ngogama rural segments. As it begins, ngogama rural segments, especially when we farming. Now. If one wants to build a farm, who's the ones in January when choosing any grade 12 decides? Who's the ones are the following? Who's the Pyama factors? Who's the Pyama factors? Pyama factors that affect their size. You might have been affected now. I affected in the sides. Low we can say a pillar man. You know what? If you know what I learned, I am. If you know when the farm, I am in a pair. I am a farmer. If you know when the in it, I'm being crop farming for the stands. So I'm affected. I'm so happy again. You know, I learned the line. Because of the age, the color, the availability of fresh water. Availability of fresh. Water. Number number two, the bare pella is there any energy available around? Energy fuel, energy energy, which is equal to yin now, and then also the bare foot even the slope up aspects, energy aspects, the slope aspects. Grade twelve, ni akumbula yeje la parate moana wuzije. About most of the people here in South Africa, they choose to build their houses on the north facing slope. So you have the north facing slope, Ngala, you have the south facing slope, Ngala. Now, Abantu, Abantu, Jim, and Ilangala Pan, Abantu, they usually choose in a man north facing slope. Why they don't choose a man north facing slopes is because who warm, especially during winter. Warm and most of the time, ama crops, ama crops are dinga in a ilanga, kona engine journey, a cool. Another factor would be you will look at the soil fertility. The soil fertility, Boba Pella, we farm and it's of no chalama crops are of no chala tambe im, sugar cane, tab of no chala umbil, yabo. So you will look at the soil fertility. It's okay. Then down, then you choose the Yes, it's dominated by any soil, not any ama rocks. You cannot choose in down in journey in ama rocks most of the time. If ufuna when the journey ufuna ukjal, and then again you will look at the drainage. So 
how well the place is trained. And then again, any some effects that you can actually look for will be the access to transport. Why if you access to transport? If you deliver deliver to the market, there's no point of having if I'm somewhere there in, 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 in a secluded area. Lay in the way they go there, and get them cargo, and get them loot, only to find loot. Yes, if you deliver some of your produce or, or, or your produce yeah, to the market, it's only within the way they get them cargo. So you will want a place with the access to any it transports great ones. Some if some of you know you are in Gom, some you look for place with green pastures for grazing. So you look for a good grazing land. Some you look at Uguma uh, Wendao, which is a relief or a topography. Topography. Another point that you can actually look. Uh, uh, for example, no matter if it's on a bear and some more for now, land of Tenga, no matter when the land if I'm Yako, La Pana Glenda or H. Hose will be in some day in microclimates. So, parent in microclimates, they would say microclimates are lap or who live in Dao, Iganjan. Do you have moderate temperatures during winter, during summer, or do you have extreme temperatures? during winter or during summer. So that's what you look for whenever you want to build or you want to actually have your farm. More for now, when in if I'm young. So these are the factors that our big IOA will work as well. Then again, as the AA man, let us go back a little bit. So we'll enjoy it. Ah, nengga lanji emuva. So so pega ini ye manji. So pega ama ama activities. Ama activities for different types of resettlement. So the color jenga wani, now we rural settlement. Ama activities now that are performed in each type of resettlement. So color jenga rural settlement, spenangani, the urban settlement. Now, kuma rural settlements, yes, things that are done there. Yeni, se, efficient. Calling such such mining, such a forestry, Kumbula is a forestry, and then also in the farming. So all these things here, the following up one in the primary activity. So my primary activities won't allow. And then Gala. Kuma urban areas that differentiates a great wealth land that differentiates and between Ama urban settlement and rural settlement. Speak Ama functions are performing, no manger, Ama activities that are performed in them. As they are here, Lana Yuzi, easy peasant dozens were GP, Kuma rural settlement. The negative dozens were Kuma rural settlements because you will remember now, we would say they are no longer performing in a primary activity. So they will perform things like some they will perform things like canning. So like my hands, some they will perform things like some furniture making. That's when the furniture. Furniture making, yes. And then if we bear this in, especially furniture making, they have converted in grade 12. I'm a primary activities now. So, so about convertir, about change that to in a finished product. So, a kaleni le finish alena ibi in ibi yenza in a manje finish. So, once sebe shinti le raw material into a finished product manje sibi zanga ni a manje then. Then gena ngapanzu we secondary, secondary activity. These are secondary activities. Now, you can see a manju would say, yes, in rural areas, there's only one activity that is performed in there. La, areas, yes, there's one here. And then another one would be, so so peganje is in the in urban areas, they 
do what you call it. They have better education system, and then also they have even our healthcare systems uh, or better healthcare systems. And then also they have things like uh, they do, they're doing e, e finance as well. So all those things here, Grace Wells, they fall under any amateur, amateur activities. Oh, okay now. These are tertiary activities. Okay. Since though, how about the area? How about the area? How about the area? They move on to things like, they, they do like ama trend analysis. They do things like trend analysis. They do things like, um, information and technology. And technology. So, more pairs on the lessons into a man. There's in your foods and I mean, Shinangala. These things here, they fall under in him. Ama, Hote, Nari, activities. Ama, Hote, Nari, activities. So, Uma, Pegi, Ekalen, Gitel. Gitel, yes. La, Uma, rural areas, Namaguma, rural segments. You have only one activity that is performed in there, which is the primary activity. And then Laguma urban areas, yes, you have a secondary activity, which is an activity number one. And then you have a tertiary activity, which is activity number one, number two. And then again, La, on any activity, which is called quaternary activity, which is activity number three. So, which means, I'm my urban areas, they are not uh, unifunctional, but instead they are multifunctional. Why do we say it's multifunctional? It's because they do all these uh, 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 activities, three of them. Benza is secondary activities, benza is tertiary activities, benza is quaternary activities. I'm a quaternary activities usually, actually, when I'm a country that are well developed. Ama countries like like USA, for instance. In the English we see Ama countries that uh, uh, are doing quaternary activities. Benza is in the Jenga and Tambe. Tamba ama movie ash. But there's Ama services that could more than in Ama tangible goods. No ma is in the Oibona, no ma unga it. But you look, this is in the Jenga movie by far, by by Mutin Jay, if I were USB, this is a sender throughout the country or throughout the world. And then this ends up in millions out of those movies. So, Jay, about about seven to cool. So, in labor, I I I equal intensive as much as KP, La Paya Naje, who are developing countries. Okay, now I see how you're going Now, let us go on and look for in Zopea. I'm a classification of segments. So, Zopea and Jama classifications of segments. Zopea is how do we classify? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Let's just look at some classification. Who must classify? Classification of segments. Who must classify grade 12? Sifaga into gamma class I. So, in the school, we are high school. Yes, it's gamma class. As we are giving grade 8, grade, grade 9, up to grade 12. So, we are classifying. So the more classifier in knowledge, your corner, I found they are grade eight and they are grade twelve, they are grade twelve in Ningi and in Gold. So, 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 so classifier, I'm a, I'm a segments A to learn. So I need to class according to their size, according to their functions as well. So how do we classify this? We classify, we classify them according to their size and their functions. You know my functions. Our functions are a number of elements that are there in those segments. Now, if we beg, come rural areas, must we take Generally, grade twelve. Our functions are called manganan. Maningi no manganan, manganan. Goba wenziwa in most of the time say in ifan ifaming most of the time. 
the mining, the forest, the fishing. So the nine is called. I'm a functions, my man. That is why we say they are unique functional. But Gala Guma open areas, grade 12. I'm a functions. There are number of elements. Number of elements. Kuna my universities, la payana in the transport system, kuna healthcare service, kuna wonke la my elements that you can think of grade 12. Now, as classifying a manje, a master elements ASO, gani according to their sizes. So I name the smallest, from the smallest to the largest. So the smallest type of segment, CB Zangani, the isolated. It's isolated from state. And the great self is Omelo was isolated from state. What does it consist of? The isolated from state. So in the farm, a yard, Ms. Octavia and Jelan, Nancy Farm, a yard, Lapan, Nancy is La, Tabin, Nancy Fusaini Lapan. So you can see with the houses are far apart. These two segments are far apart. Away when they're one year old. So in Jem, they consist of few buildings, very few buildings, or even two families. So in Jem, I'm isolated segments, I'm a farmstead, usually. Ajoyele Ughamba, Noma Ajoyele Ugland, who is a commercial farmers. Goma commercial farmers, they own this large piece of land. If a little water, La Payana Bessa is a in, Erana in, if farm. And then number two, how do we classify my settlements again? Number two, we look at in Ama Hamlet. Ama Hamlet's grace wealth, Dana is a species bigger in a man. A small grouping of in Ama isolated farmstead. Ah, it's a small grouping of isolated farmstead. So I find pan. Okay, now what are these hamlets? A hamlet, Jim, is a small grouping of few farmstead. Now it may have its own church. around, clamping the police station. Yabo, Gungaba nano maipi in Dao, Mamaguba nano maipi in the in the feature. Abai dingayo, Ngalasos Kazi, Abanda Bafnuks do Salagli in Dao. Okay, now. Number three, what do we have for number three? Snani Sne village. If village you are biggest rural settlement, is na yo again. You are biggest settlement is na yo. The village is 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 actually a fairly large, it's a large farming community which have a post office at times, maybe a few general general shops. Um so it's 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 a grouping of of all these small together with a hamlet. Ah, okay, now that's the village. Okay, usually I'm a village. I try to look around in the way in Johnny. I try to look around in the way. And a second, so it was in time to back here. Give it la. Time to buff. And a specific no man. A certain feature. Tambe low feature leo and tambe in Gaba Tambe la partner down. Tambu Tolu would say any, Tambu Tolu would say it's a, it's a dam. Or even a lake. Kashia is a lake most of the time. Mobile is a sweet, a bit sweet illa. So Matola and Java do be so group around the lake to have access to any grade 12 to water. Then, this is your cube. Sa classifier in a my urban segment. Another one would be a town. Monot is a man. A town, a town in it's not an, it's not a rural area. It's an urban area. It's an urban area. Yes, it is the smallest. It's the smallest. It is the smallest urban settlement. Grade 12 million, you will specific. Uma would define in the town. It's the smallest urban settlement. Yes, it consists of a variety of, 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 of facilities. You can have a post office, you can have a police station, you can have you can even have a shopping centers around. Zong is in 2018. They are closely grouped, they are grouped together. They are uniform at times. Yabo. Unama services learn. The place is well serviced as well. Now let's just look at another one which is called 
ACTs. Or well, before we look at the states, we must actually make examples of towns. Our towns can be anything like Lambe Ipochap Skin, Lambe Istanga, Lambe Istanga, Lambe even, um, uh, yeah, my name Jamal and my towns that you can actually uh, mention. Lambe, um, again, Richards Bay, those are small towns. And then let us look at the city. The city is it is a largest, it's a large, basically, it's a, it's a, it's a large urban area. And it's easy, it's so in and it's so in as into such as my, my universities. There are universities, there are maybe places of research, that is a city. Kunama International, International Airport. Jenga IP International Airport that you know, Great 12. Uh, was the King Shaga International Airport, yes. Was the OR uh, Tambo International Airport. Maning and Jamal and Dama International Airport that you can actually mention, Great 12. But in JSC, it consists of, it's a large urban area. It's a large urban area with Great services, many services, such as the university, such, such as the international airports. Let's just look at another one. Another one is called a metropolis. 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 This is a metropolitan uh, a place such as Idepen, such as Cape Town. And then we need to know, Great Twelve Fuguti, Metropolis, what type of urban area is this? Now, we're talking about a very large urban area that's consists of large cities and its neighboring towns. Mahapama neighboring towns. Okay, it's, it's, it's also, it's a, it, it is a large urban area. Um, that consists of a neighboring, yes, a neighboring towns. No, my APC that you can think of in a neighboring towns. So, for example, the example of the Depen. The Depen has a neighboring town such as Pine Town, such as Umshanga, even though Umshanga is growing now to become a city. But those are your my neighboring towns. And then let's go to number seven. For number seven, you have what you call the conurbation. The conurbation, the in conurbation, the conurbation, we're talking about a combination, you know, it's, 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 it's a merger between the large cities. If you can have a metropolis, a metropolis can be out too. Then, because of the so in the conurbation, Econipation that you can think of, like South African general mind, and it consists of in, it consists of it, Johannesburg, it consists of in it, it's So that is the only conipation that we have. And econipation, yes, we are traveling on the highway, national road or something. Uhamba, Uswagle city le. Ubona ma buildings. Uyo shanga na na nyi city. Ubona ma buildings. Upindi yoshanga na na nyi city. So there is no gap. So which means there is no vegetation in between those cities. In the shanga nish. So we only have one conurbation in South Africa, which is found there in Gauteng. And then the last one is called the Mega Law. It's Mega Law Po. Police. What is megalopolis? Megalopolis is a corner in a image of a conurbation. So, it's a, it's a conurbation after a conurbation. So, I'll say it's a conurbation plus another conurbation. This will give you in a megalopolis. So, you remember. 
Lawi Kondibation saying it's a metro police plus another metropolis. This will give you any equilibration. So this will give you any equilibration. Now, those are your classifications here. I classify Ganjalo, Amani, Amani segments according to their size and functions. Remember, if functions, we're looking at the number of elements as we get a corner in that urban area. Remember what you've said, Kalim, say Amar rural segments, they are unifunctional. And then Amar urban segments, they are multifunctional. So in the single course, local place, well, when you say we exam, you must have that in mind. Now, then again, you need to actually classify. Let's just classify, let's just classify the rural segments in terms of their patterns. Let's just classify classification of rural settlement according to what? Grade 12, according to their pattern. Here in the pattern, pattern is Uguma Wendo. So, 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 then this is a conclude that it's okay. That is the type of a settlement, a rural settlement. So, we have two types of a rural settlement, Grade 12. Now, a young color here. It's called a dispersed. So it's a dispersed. Another one is called a nucleated. Now, it dispersed can be, you can say it's an isolated, it's an isolated farmstead. Nucleated, yes, it's 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 cluster, it's it's ecamalization, it's isn't any masses in the one now. As per a man in a much dispersed. In a much dispersed farm steps, because of Kombisa and Jelana by doing a man and a man throwing the man and a great steps. Because of their house number one, la, the day o house number two, la, pana, and egg then. Now, you can see who's enjoyed the distance from here to there, it's great. Yeah. Then again, missing here, la, we number two. We number two, yes, in a nuclear, nucleated, nucleated, because of fire, o house number one, la. House number two, you can see great sweat for which they are all close together and they are clustered. Now, if this pattern, it actually tells you the shape. So the exam, it's it comes in a, a source-based question. houses, no that are far apart. Maybe there's a river and crossing in between them and then in all this. There's a big booze here. With what type of, of uh, a segment person is that? So be careful with the grade 12. Say, I get a mistake in the issue of general manager. A person in the shape are two different things. A person in the shape of a segment. A shape is another thing. We'll get into that in, in, in a short while. So, I get a little mistake in the actual line. Okay, this is a dispersed. Or is it's, it's an isolated segment. This is a nucleated segment because houses are close together. And you will remember, to change the type of rural segments that normally, normally at all times, a village in a nucleated pattern is called in a village. So the type of rural uh, segment that has the isolated farm state is called it's either a hamlet or an isolated farmstead. So depending on what's in the social collab, we examine as a on a it's it. Then you have what you call a mat dry points. Mat dry points segment. A mat dry point segments, Grace Wells. A mat dry point segments, these people build their houses where? On the high lying areas. Keep the advantage, advantage of building your house in a high lying area. You are, the place will not be, so there will not no flooding. That is an advantage of any dry point segment. So you build your house in a high lying area. But now, what would be a disadvantage? 
So this is your advantage. What would be a disadvantage of building your house in a dry point, a more a dry point? A disadvantage would be no access to water. So water is not accessible. So that should be your disadvantage. So maybe pay a lot of grace first. But and again, now by balance, it depends on which equation in J it's in the exam, no my source it's in. Then the Suba Kona in here, grace well. Kuba Kona e wet's point. Yes, you show you a wet wet point, settlement. Wet point settlement, yes, it's built. It's next to the water source. What would be the advantage for having your house next to the water source? You have access to water. So this is your advantage. What would be a disadvantage? Flooding. It would be flooding. Your house would be flooded. So this would be your disadvantage. So these are your Settlement patterns, phrase one. Then this is your Kubea, yes, Bea in a man. Sebea, I'm advantages and disadvantages of I'm isolated, nani, nama nucleated, thumb step. It's very important, phrase one. Uglendua, Bea, Lama, and the advantages, Muguas, Lama, advantages and disadvantages of any I'm isolated. So, so Bea and Jen, so Tingela dispersed. Oh, since advantages, advantages of dispersed settlement. Then this is the last answer. Disadvantages of dispersed. Settlement. Now, grade twelve. Umanje also Langana and a question. Quick exam. It's a please do provide ama examples or ama disadvantages and um ama advantages and disadvantages of any ama dispersed settlement. Relax and think of things that you know. Yes, number one, you will get bored. You will remember what's here. My pants were dispersed. Yes, who can a commercial farmer? And the commercial farmer gets to own the land. So I'm at disadvantage of that. That person will actually get bored. Now, as beginning a man. Spare any advantages of a dispersed Lana. Lana, there is no sharing, no sharing of, of land. That is the advantage number one. And then the advantage number two would be no sharing of profits. Number three, the farmer has money, so he can actually afford to buy a big machines, big machinery, and then can afford to actually to buy our fertilizers as well. To buy fertilizers, those are your advantages. No, this guy owns the piece of in it. Now let's just look at our disadvantages. Isn't this in being? We take a line. Uma owe it when you eat high. Ye ine owe it why? Uma owe it when you eat high. Let's wait. You get bored. So in general, you get bored, and then also security wise, are you safe? No, you are not safe. So no security in terms of any safety. Most of the time, no matter how much farmers are being bullied, and until they are selling, they are not selling. 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 They are not selling
ezithulala le nenhlambe emini ngoba akekho umuntu omzwayo lo muntu ohlezile yet then again nhlambe enye i disadvantage would be greater traveling distance so mo funa something if i am a isolated kumele ehambe ine i long distance to get a certain thing if you funa nhlambe utsenga nhlambe clothes or maybe even fertilizers that farmer will actually travel such a great distance in order to actually access the uh, item of Nugland, who is hard. So, great to have fungi limits, Lana. The Tabang and Joena is Umundu, Ushalagi farm. With Tabang and Joe is Umundu Shalagi farm, who is in jail. How is this like? Yabo, is it busy? Thank you, enjoy. And is it busy? And I enjoy this. I'm at risk uh, of. Let us look now at some advantages here, Manja Anne. My advantages of a nucleated. My advantages, great well, of a nucleated. So, we are even my advantages. My nucleated. Now, what advantage number one of a nucleated farming here? You get to share. You get, get to share. Oh. The ideas on how to plant. You share some ideas, Lan. We see them. We live in the And the EPI is like the EPI. And the Elula, Yogan, the Wesson Jani, Yogan. Should we use my control lines, the control line system, my control line a plowing system, or anything? EPS and Zagas. And then again, what is the advantage? Another advantage of Eland A nucleated is security. The security, so it's, it's safe. Security is there. And then also here, you get to share. Sharing of machines. So, um, to my machine or tears and lampy or timber, um, can always go there. Ew bolege, about ew seven this and galluses cassie, and then this air we sell. Now, let us look at some disadvantages here, man. Ubobi bani, ubobi, benucleated, oxalanda, one year, and bobi, ubobi, oxalanda, one year. We, 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 we land with settlement. Now, number one, these guys are sharing profits. There is no privacy. So in the privacy, I eat more funnels and the lies in the Zako. I was with the in the Zako, go by any privacy, I And then also, um, um limited ideas educated limited ideas on how to on how to on how to actually plow yeah, or to do even in the farming so just we have like ama ama let ama ama ideas ama ngani go by any as if we are not professional we're doing things like the subsistence farming yeah, well, yeah. Now, let us look at in the segment and my segment shapes. So, I pair here my segment shapes and then grade 12. Then I just see the only learn. And again, in seven of our my segment shapes, nani, and my segment patterns. Kuba legi leden. I'm a segment shapes. Grade 12 for school mangani around segment. School mangani, the linear segment. Skulumangani, the cross segment. Skulumangani, food number four. Skulumangi, T junction or T shaped. It's T shaped segment. And each one of these segments, the only reason why. Amen, Galenzilla, Amen, Ayo. Because of the Melanji, Ekelin, Lauzi, Amasegment, Amen, Ganjan. Iron shape, swim. 
Igan, is around a special feature. Remember, a calling in is might be surrounding in it can be a feature such as a lake, race wise. This was a linear shape. It can be anything from umkak to any umfold. So abantu they would build their houses next to any that line shape, that special feature. Mazuaka any is in Zabula. Then this was a cross, a cross shape you know. This way, Ilandela in the intersection of roads. So Abandu Mazuaka next to the intersection. Kanj, Mazulandela in the petin. Okay. Remember, grade 12, don't be confused. Yes, a linear shape, no matter across, across shape, eventually no matter it's in a round shape. The reason being, one can pay a woman to Funubaka around the special fit. Then the Sida goes away, exam why people choose to build their houses next to in the, the road. Suzo show you who is here. They want to access the transports. And yes, one woman do. Ufuna ungu glendu wenzi njani ukusebe nzisa i transport. So that is why efuna ungu ba kepi along the roads. Then the sugu ba yini here. It's a shape. It's a shape ikushi fane nani ne cross shape. So aba hantu je bake izindu zabo kepi la. Next to the road. Wa ungu mundu wansu hea bake ini ini i access to ini to umkwa. So jesu nga ipamba nisi create to have land up. Ama shapes, ama segment shapes, yes, bakulu mangani, nama round shapes, linear shape, cross shape, and ama T shape. Uku mago ma segment. Akaito a yene, a special feature. That is there. Then basu ba yene, ama segment patterns. Uku mago in dao ye. Ama segment patterns, je? We're talking about dispersed, we're talking about nucleated. So, je? Kuzo mele nje, great work, no miganja, no uzi, unga wei, ya uma mistakes. Okay. Now, let us look at the land use. We'll see how do we use the land in the rural areas. How do we use the land? It's land use in a rural segments or areas. This is for what? Land in, in rural areas. This is for farming. And the farming is a great wealth. In Gasugana, in Gasugana, depending on which woman you're interested to win in. Ungaba in a commercial farming. Ungaba a commercial farming. Ungaba in a sub subsistence. Subsistence farming. And you need to know, Grace 12, which, what do we mean about in a commercial farming? The commercial farming, Grace 12, the aim of it is to make any profit. So the aim here is to make profit. Where else on the other side? The subsistence farming. You want the aim is to feed yourself and your family. So the aim here is to feed yourself and your family. So Christ wealth, you need to be able to differentiate between the two. In commercial farming, yes, it's done on a large scale. Then this was a subsistence farming in Zuagebe on a small scale. Now, the commercial farming is an Ashuana foods. It's an Ashuana grade 12. Amanima farmers can do what you call a monoculture. The monoculture is whereby a farmer plants only one seed. So they only plant one seed, e.g. Ntabe sugar cane.
or if a farmer can be involved in what you call a mixed crop. So a mixed crop, now we're talking about is into as a slogan, a variety of crops or even livestock. So, umu tenga to say to which you know what? Angtali in umbila. Gifuye in komo, gifuye izimbu, eh, nsampe ngile, mpini ngtali nsampe no ngile, nespinachi, nsampe, nsampe whatever vegetables that I think actually, eh, uh, they might have a little Aki Iman, Engan Zeliman. So, Jay, there is a mixed crop farming, monoculture, La Payana, which is mono farming, where only one seed is planted. So, Jay, great wealth, yes. A commercial farming, since we've said the aim is to make profits, a commercial farming, yes, it, at times it can be done at a, a large scale, at times it can also be done at a it's a small scale. Then the super in the game. i issues, yes, but I'm issues. I'm issues. I'm a rural settlement issues. I'm a Piloma rural settlement issues that we think of. Skulumangan, things like rural, urban migration. In a rural urban migration, we're talking about the movement of people moving from rural areas into any among urban areas. So it's a 